they did an amazing journey uh, and he did an amazing trip with because not only was he trying to go to the pole but also he was doing a lot of scientific work and some other exploration work as well so there was an awful lot to his last expedition it wasn't just the pole it was it was a lot of science and some other exploration as well so uh, yeah i think i think he was a hero in lots of ways they were so brave and and they stuck it out to the last and and yet they also thought of other things and they as you may know they were still carrying 35 pounds weight of geological specimens on the sledge when you know which was there when they found the tent after they had died so they, they took the science extremely seriously and you know, spent whole days looking, looking for fossils and things when they could have been traveling on. So I think it, it was just such a broad ranging expedition. His work was the basis for so much work that's come since then and there's just such a, uh, a lot of work going on in the Antarctic. There's a lot of excitement about uh, the science that's go going on in the Antarctic now. And of course here in the Scott Polar we, we can see some of the results of that. They knew they took risks, and uh, there's that quote my, from my grandfather, we knew we took risks, and uh, things have come out against us, therefore we have no cause for complaint, but bow to the will of Providence, uh, determined to do our best to the last. And of course they then were so terribly unlucky with the weather at the last minute when the polar party were coming back from the pole and they hit this you know, 20 degrees centigrade lower temperatures than they were expected and that affected the surface and the rate that they could travel. And uh, without that, you know, it's quite likely they would have got back and, and we wouldn't have had the tragedy that we had.